Hi, I'm Scotty. If you want to learn how to service and repair antique mechanical clocks, then subscribe to my channel. Welcome to Scotty's Clock World. All the parts of the movement have now come back out of the ultrasonic cleaner and they all look nice and clean. First wheel on the going side train. Back plate. Right, now we're going to check each wheel, the pivots and the bushes, and see if we need to do any rebushing. We'll start off with the first wheel on the going side train. Cannon Arbor in. That's got him. I'll put a nut on that post there to hold it while we check the wheel. As you can see, the wheel spins very freely. We're going to look at that pivot there in the bush, that one that's popping up and down. Move it sideways. No, that's quite tight. Not a problem, it does need to be replaced. Now we'll look at this one. Little bit of movement on there actually. Quickly check the front one again. No, that one's all right. Well, we'll have to redo that one at the back, on the back plate. Take the top plate off. Mark that one with a felt tip pin so we know it has to be rebushed. Now second wheel, top plate back on again. And align that. Spin him to make sure it's in. Right, let's have a look at this one. Moves nice and freely. Now we're looking at that pivot and that bush there. See what we see in the way of play. No, not a problem there. Turn it over. Looking at that one there. No, quite good. Check it for end play. Heaps of end play in it. Take that out, put in the escape wheel, goes there. Top plate back on. Cannon arbor in.
tethering pallet. Now the escape wheel. We're looking at that pivot there. Oh, that's pretty good. Now that pivot there. Pretty good. They don't need to be replaced. Now we'll look for in play. Heaps of it there. Spins very freely. Don't know that this movement has done a lot of work. Right, now we'll put in the strike side wheels one at a time. First wheel. Cannon armor into there. Gathering pallet. And the first wheel. Turn him around. See what we got. Spins pretty freely. Now we're looking at that pivot there. That looks all right. And that pivot there. Not oh, movement in that one. Check the front one again. Mm, marginal. Right, we'll do both those. Take the plate off. Mark them straight away so we know which ones we have to rebush. No one. No one. Now the star wheel. That piece there. Goes there. I'll play it on again. Can an arbor. Catherine Pallet. And the Star Wheel. Okay, now let's check it. That pivot there. Mm, marginal. Now, that pivot there. Yep, that one's a bit loose. We'll have to redo both of those. Only just, but they still require to be done. We want... That one. And that one.
Now the warning wheel goes there. to go underneath it so we'll have to take that out that there and then install the warning wheel can an arbor Gathering pallet. That moves down a little bit. Down to there. Right, that's got it. Now we're looking at that pivot there. No, that's all right. That one there. No, that's quite all right. And heaps of end play. Off. The fly goes there. Like once again, get an arbor. Spin round, gathering pallets done. We'll put the fly in, push the top plate up a tiny bit with my finger. In it goes. Right now, looking at that pivot there. No, oh, that looks all right. We're looking at that one there. I'm going to close the look. No, that looks okay. Right, we'll now check the fly for in play. You can see there's heaps there. That's not going to get caught on anything. So, top plate off. The fly comes out. And we'll have a look and see. One, two, one, two, three, four, and that one down there, five. Right, we've got five rebushings to do.